Michael Williams here at White Label Consulting. This should be a quick tutorial real quick. I had a phone call from a man, Jeremy, in New York, and he wanted to know how I got my camera settings so clean. Uh, the one thing that I have that uh, helps me to get a clean view, uh, and actually, let me preface this. He wants to know how my camera looks so clean on a Lumix G7. Now, you have to understand that the Lumix G7 um, is an older camera, and if I pull up the specs on the camera, you will know that the camera is quite old for technology um, uh, uh, for for live streaming. It's 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 really old. Um, it's it's from what I remember. Uh, let me see camera labs. Let me pull this up real quick. Uh, let me see here. Uh, split screen. Yeah, this camera was. Where does it say this at? Uh, 2015. This camera is nine years old, right? Um, uh, let me see. Now it's 2015. Yeah, it's, it's this camera is nine years old. So this is a very old camera, right? And he wanted to know how I got such a clean camera setting. I was on the uh, Anton Daniel show as a call-in guest, and not not that I was featured, but you know, it just lets people call in. Mike Michael Williams, what's up? How you doing, sir? I'm doing How well. You your doing? camera is crispy. Uh, uh, you want to come up and say your thing on camera, or you rather stay off camera? It's up to you. Uh, I'm cool. I'm cool coming on camera. Let me pull you up here. All right, what you got? What you got for me? I'll pull that I'm up. Trying to see the crispy. And um, I I would like to know. What is um, uh, and so I said one of the things that I have uh, is is I have a I have a meta booster here, which is a um adapter a metal i see that i guess this is the meta bones adapter i have two of them the meta bones adapter this is the eft and mft mount and then i have a sigma lens that is an 18 to 35 and this lens actually goes down to 1.2 uh, aperture um, and i know that's a lot of technical uh, jargon but the the idea is that my lens really helps out um, the quality that you see coming from this broadcast but I told him I would do a um, tutorial that would um, help him understand some of the dynamics I have um, that I've experimented with now pulling up this uh, this uh, lens you can see the lens right here on uh, Amazon uh, is about six six hundred dollars and then obviously a Metabones adapter uh, is gonna cost you another hundred uh, Metabones adapter um, I'm gonna put this in here real quick I'm gonna show you the one I have I have the EFT the MFT mount uh, yeah, I think this is right here well no I don't have this one uh, this is a Canon nope this is a EF2 hold on and this it came with a package. That's why I don't have the links up. And somebody's like, oh, well, you should have this planned out. Yeah, I mean, this is just a note that's the, well, this is a version two. Um, this is the one I have. I have version one, I believe. Uh, yeah. So this is a, a control ring. Uh, and so you just have to get the one that's going to work for your camera. Um, and that's this is this is that's what gives me the quality that I have. But I told him I would actually put on a stock lens is what I have now. I have a stock lens on right now, and this lens is the uh, 12 to 32 lens for the Panasonic, and it has an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6, which is way different than the actual 1.2 that I'm working with here. I usually use it at about 1.8. So my settings on my camera, and I actually turned on the display. Hold on real quick. If I click on the screen so you can actually see what my settings are. Right here, my f-stop on the bottom left-hand corner, which is right here, is set to, oh, right there, is set to 4.0. So this is a lot higher, uh, this is a lot higher number from 1.2. Uh, this is different, right? And then my uh, f-stop is set to, my shutter speed is set to 100. Now, actually, if I'm honest, my shutter speed should not be uh, 100. My shutter speed should actually be uh, let's put this where it needs to be. It should be at 60 because I'm shooting at 4K, uh, 4K 30. So the way I have my setup is I shoot at 4K 30 when I stream. I set my OBS or set my ATM to uh, look for a camera at 60, uh, uh, 60 hertz. Uh, excuse me, 60, uh, 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 60 frames per second. So 
uh, I'm shooting at 30p, my ATM is seeing it at uh, 60. And so that's how I get that sharpness. And then also you'll notice that usually my ISO for my lens is set to down here. Usually when I do my ISO for my good lens, I'm all the way down to 200. But as you can see, because it has a different f-stop on this lens, 200 doesn't work for a stock lens. You have to boost the ISO. Now, the way I offset that is I have a lot of lights in my studio. I have a light here and I have a bicolor light and I have it set to about uh, 47, 4,800. Um, and then I have this light here set to 5100 and then I have another light that covers the room So I have three lights in here on me. They're all pretty much within four to five feet So that's how I compensate for any noise that might be in the picture now Obviously with a stock lens, I can't do uh, 200 so I just shoot this up to about uh, what I had it at before uh, 600 now 300 would be a decent light, but I shoot it up to around uh, 400 500 uh, ISO right there. That's what I'm going for. It, it could be a little hot, a little burnt out right here on my forehead. Um, and the only way I could adjust that is by adjusting the ISO. But that's how I work with my camera settings in, the, in so much as that I try to find the optimal shutter speed, f-stop, and I try to find the right ISO for my camera so that I don't create too much noise. As I keep going up here, you'll see the picture gets horribly worse. Um, and now I'm up to 1600 and I just look like a ghost. So that's a horrible setting for any live stream or even just recording, right? Right now I'm recording this, I'm not even going live. But around 600 to 500, that's my optimal ISO range, right? You can compare this with other videos on my channel just to see the difference. And uh, actually, let's just go to YouTube real quick and pull this up. Let me pull up my actual channel, play a video in the background. I think I got everything muted. So let's go to view your channel. I'm gonna pull up the video. I, I'm gonna pull up a live video, actually. Uh, let me see here. Let's pull up uh, affordable camera gear. I think I was talking reckless in that one. Uh, and let me change the quality to 1080, because that's what I usually go out at. And let me see if I can pull up the split screen so you can see. So you can see the quality. Um, I think there's a little bit more sharpness in the video. Uh, let me make this full screen so this yeah you can see a little bit more sharpness in the video uh to my to your to, i guess to my left what do you mean my left yeah to my left you're right um you see a little bit more sharpness in the picture quality um and you see a little bit more background blur that's what a lower f-stop will will give you uh in the sense of of, of creating background distance but for what you're doing, if you have a stock lens, pretty much on any camera, you have to master your lighting and you have to master your color settings. And so for this, what I have now, um, yes, I don't have as much background blur over here. And there is a little bit of noise over here in the corner, which I could you know, easily rectify by lowering the ISO maybe to 400 and getting rid of some of this noise over my left shoulder over here. But this is my camera settings. So you can see it on the screen. I'm at, at you know, F4.0, I'm at 60 frames, uh, 60. My shutter speed is double my frame rate, which is what it's supposed to be. And then my ISO is at 400. Uh, when I throw my better lens on, I'm able to go all the way down to 200 and I'm able to take my uh, F-stop down to 1.8. And so that's, those are my camera settings for the Lumix G7. Uh, it's a nine year old going on a 10 year old camera. Uh, I think I have pretty good quality for a live stream. And so I recommend why you should actually get this camera. You can get it on MPB for under $300 and it comes with a warranty. And I'm not sponsored by the website. I'm just, I just like to pass out good resources. And so if you go to MPB and put up Lumix G7, uh, I'll, I'll do the work for you. Hey, if you MPB, if you see that, I, we love your website. Um, if you go there and you put this up, uh, uh, I click on Lumix G7 right here. Um, look how many they have for under $300. Uh, they have some that says condition like new. They all come with the warranty. Obviously, you got to get a stock lens. But this G7 is a great quality camera. If I were to, if you had a little bit more money, I would recommend the GH4. It's just a solid build. But uh, let me see. And the lens I have is the uh, 12 to 32 uh, lens right here. And I'm going to uh, show you right here. Uh, so less than $400, you can have a full camera. 
Uh, $154. This is the lens I'm using right here. It's a 12 to 32. It's a wide angle, a close angle lens. Uh, that, you know, pr pretty standard for, uh, you know, 18 to 35 is what I have here. So the 12 to 32 is a great, great point. I'm not a technical guy when it comes to the photography, videography uh, a lingo. And there may be somebody up there who may disagree, who knows a little bit more about you know the technical aspect of it what i'm saying is for the live stream that we have now and for what i'm doing and for what i'm trying to uh accomplish this has worked for me i'm not gonna break i'm not gonna reinvent the wheel and so if you are looking at getting a g7 get one get this lens get this get a lot of lights this is about a hundred dollars 150 dollars with the lights um get as many lights as you can and the only other thing I would recommend is to turn off your uh, your, your autofocus. The autofocus on the Lumixes aren't great. I won't lie to you, but I don't need them because I'm sitting still. I'm not I'm not running track. I'm not breakdancing. I'm not in uh, electric boogaloo breakdancing. I'm, that's I'm dating myself. Obviously, you don't know anything about that. Uh, but again, get the Lumix G7. Uh, it'll be great for your live stream. It's affordable and uh, it'll work for you. So uh, thank you for watching. God bless you guys. Have a great day.